In this video, I'm going to be making a design for my Instagram and I'll be taking you on the journey with me. Let's go! So before we get started, if you're looking for more tips, tricks, hacks, tutorials and other design inspiration videos, then make sure you click that subscribe button and also don't forget to hit that notification bell to get notified every time that I post a new video. So this is another episode of Photoshop Therapy and in this series what I do is create something for my Instagram and kind of bring you along with me on the journey. There's no speeding up, there's no editing really, there's just me, you, Photoshop, some lo-fi tunes and hopefully a cool design at the end of this time. So we're just going to go ahead and get started. We've got an artboard set up and my usual Instagram size is 3840 by 4800. And uh, the first thing I always do is get some text in place. So we're going to get our theme put in. And I will never be alone. I want to make that a little bit bigger, I think. So there we go. That's now kind of the right size. We'll do something like that. And then we'll bring the spacing, the line spacing in as well. One thing that I really don't like about Photoshop is that the line spacing only goes up to 72. And most of the time with the files, like on, on those kind of like choice, this drop down list. And most of the time I'm working in sizes that go way beyond 72. So I kind of have to always do this guessing game where, where I've got to work out what is the right size uh, that, that fits this size artboard. So it's kind of annoying, but is what it is okay so that looks about right that's just to get us started so i may play around with how that sits but at the moment i think i'm gonna have it like that okay so the first thing i want to do is kind of work out what words do i am i going to have on here um and just start going through some of those ideas so like what fonts do i want to choose what words do i want to stand out so i'm going to try and focus on never i was going to focus on alone but i just don't feel like that um I just don't, I don't just feel like that's the word that needs to be highlighted. So let's try never here. And the first thing I'm gonna do is just choose a font that I like and then see if that starts to lean towards some new design ideas. So in using this font called Luminaire that Megan from Pro Church Media put me onto. So thanks for sending that over Megan. And this is something that I've been trying to just like work around with. I really like how smooth it is. Normally you don't find like cursive fonts that are this smooth. So this has been a very cool little addition to my font collection. So now what we're going to do is just start playing around with that idea. So what we could do is put uh, B here and change the font. Normally I'll pair this with a pretty heavy like font uh, that's kind of just a normal kind of like a Helvetica. I'm using something called New Hass Grotesque. I found that to be pretty good. So let's try it that. Maybe make that just a little bit thinner. Not too thin though. And we'll try just matching that and seeing how that sits. Not a huge fan of how that sits, but we'll work with the rest of the text and see how we get on. Okay, so I wonder if I move B down to this line here. In fact, let's just add that onto this line, like so, like that, and then maybe start to work with never, never being in the center, like so. I wonder, if there's, I wonder if there's any merit in trying half of this cursive and half of this. Um, uh, the word that I'm looking for is completely spaced, uh, like a serif, like a sans serif. I can't believe it took me that long to think of that word. I'm sorry to all the designers out there because I promise you I do kind of know what I'm talking about. Well, I don't really, but you know what I mean. I 
Let's try and fit that. I like that like phrase, those three words, like being together somehow, but you've got to make sure that it doesn't read the wrong way. I don't want it to be never alone be. I want it to be never be alone, so just be careful of that. This is what I always run into, and this is one of those things that happens when you use like a pre-made cursive font is that you never really get full reign of how you set up the text. So it's just kind of a guessing game until we get this right. Maybe something like that. But again, that seems to, um, what's the word? Too long. Never be. Alone. Yeah, see, I just don't like that how it is. Uh, I like how that B and the N sit next to each other like that. And now we're just going to make this guy work. Let's try centering those guys up like that. And maybe let's try bringing back the serif on here or should I say sans serif I'm not thinking straight today sans means without serif is the curly bits so therefore it is a sans serif font sorry to everyone I just upset watching I promise you I I do know this when my brain's on on form apparently it's not working today Try something like that. I like where this is going. I'm just gonna try and make this work with how the text is placed as well. And then maybe if I take the, one of these guys here and make that an and. Make that small and I'll make that, I'll add some strokes there as well to make that a bit thicker. Stroke, make sure that's black like so. Uh, then go normal. No. So let's take those three things. Make sure they're in the center. which they are. Okay, let's try moving alone under here like that. Maybe that, make that a little thinner and then maybe space that out a bit more. This guy, and then try and it's annoying. I feel like the end's just not working. Okay, so let's bring this 
go back into the middle now and see how this looks. Okay, well that's, that doesn't look centered to me at all. And I think it's because of the the way the letters work, which you know makes sense. But I don't want it to look like that. So let's try moving alone more that way and see if that helps balance things out. Hmm. Okay, so that idea we're going to park for a sec. And let's just try it with all the, like, everything being cursive. I don't like how the eye looks on this font. Uh, so let's do that like that. I'm going to duplicate that here. Maybe let's try putting the B like that, and then alone. Let's try moving that. Hmm. Okay, I feel like there's a basic composition there. Now it's just about refining that and working out how to make that look better. Something like that maybe. Does it have an and sign? Do you know what the official word for an and sign is? Ampersand. But you didn't know that. You probably did know that. Let's try moving the eye like. And maybe if I put like something here. that and make that like so this might just help to balance things out so let's get our big fat font back new has Let's try making those two lines. Centering those two up, bringing this in like so. And now let's see if I can balance this out. No, it's not working. 
All right, that's okay. This is what this series is about. Me trying out ideas and seeing what works and what doesn't work. I think we're gonna try something where we just strip back on the, the cursive stuff here. And I think we'll keep alone and we'll keep that as a font that sits like this. I like the circle and alone together like that. So let's find a way to make those two things work. Okay. So then we're gonna, I'm just gonna turn that into a smart object just so it fits correctly because at the moment it doesn't seem to want to really fit properly on the screen. Okay, now let's try bringing back some of these. Okay. Let's try a different font for this part. something like that okay I'm starting to see this shape up a bit more now so then we can put B here like so and then just it's just about working out how we fit that circle and then I'm actually going to switch this to see if I can balance this a little bit more just by adding oh that's right I turned that into a thingy didn't I smart object let's bring that back like so, so I can delete that now Inside that circle. Okay, so let's try making that a little thicker. Maybe 25. Just bring that in slightly. how far I'd have to move this circle for it to not shift all the way over. Okay, so it'd be like that. That looks so off to me. It's crazy the, how the eye can like... spot that. Okay, so this is going to be one of those things where I try and center it and it's going to not want to do what? I want it to do so we have to like just do it manually and hope that it doesn't look off if that makes sense so okay that looks pretty good centered wise like I feel like that doesn't look off again if I like now did the auto center it would look what it would be completely off. Yeah, see. Okay, 
So, I'm just going to try it moving this guy. No, it needs to be like that. Let's try taking another one of these and maybe trying the ampersand this time and seeing if I can get that to fit in somehow. Okay, I'm just going to add some accent text in there as well, just to make sure it looks... I feel like having something over here and here might be cool. So let's try and make that work. No, it needs something but not text because it just doesn't help the way it is read. Maybe something like that. We'll group those. Maybe try centering those up with this guy. don't think circle is the way to go. Do I go down the classic star route? Maybe. Maybe triangles? I can't even see what that triangle looks like. Okay. Let's try this. Two smallish triangles pointing at alone. Like that. Make sure they're on the same level. Okay, maybe let's try rotating those like 45 degrees. No, it would need to be straight down like that. And then maybe, maybe this could work. I'll take this triangle here. Rotate that 90 degrees like so. Have that pointing this way. Okay, there's something there for sure, but I don't think it's fully theorized just yet. Let's make sure those are evenly spaced. Okay, and then maybe let's try hiding these two. Yeah, I kind of like that. And then I just want to make sure that this guy here is centered how it should be. I may have to do that visually as well. Okay, I think in terms of text, I'm now done. So I'm going to turn it into a smart object. Like so. And then I'm going to see what that does to how it's centered. I'm going to take that here. And I think we'll make it look like that. Okay, pretty happy with that so far. 
So let's just try some effects. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is just make the background black as I normally do. And then make the text white so we can see kind of the effects we're doing on it. I'm just going to cheat and use color overlay. As I know it's not the, the proper way of doing it, but I like to just do that. It's quicker. Then I'm just going to puff out the text a little bit using minimum. So I'm just aiming for the corners to be slightly more rounded. I normally stick around like one pixel radius. And that normally just gets me like what I'm looking for. Okay. Now let's try going to... We're going to double click on this layer. We're trying to go to bevel and emboss. And we're just going to try playing around with a few of these things here. And seeing what we can come up with. too much let's do normal okay we're going to turn into a smart object we're going to go to filter gallery we're going to go to style uh, sketch and click stamp and try that one Uh, let's try adding a stroke actually first. I'm going to make that white. Like so. I'm going to turn that into a smart object. Then we go to filter, filter gallery, sketch. Stamp. We'll start working with stamp and see how it looks. Okay, let's try that. It's kind of like a stamped effect. Kind of dig that. Uh, so let's convert that to a smart object. And then what we're going to do is duplicate Command J. Probably take away the white. Like so. And then we're just left with the outlines. And then we'll do a color overlay on those outlines. We'll just choose any old color first. Let's go out like that blue. And then now with the background, I'm going to now do a color overlay on that. And see what we can come up with. Kind of like that. Yeah, like that's pretty cool. Let's just put those two together. And then if we go back to filter gallery. Let's see what that would look like with a half tone pattern. Uh, so let's go filter. Maybe we'll just thicken that up slightly. And then maybe I'll just try a spatter filter. See what that does. This is all experimentation. Like I, I, this isn't planned. I'm just coming up with ideas and seeing what works. Okay. So it's got this kind of like hand printed vibe. So let's try putting a background in and seeing what it looks like and seeing what we need to work with. So 
I'm going to start with... Let's try this one first. These are all from Unsplash, as you would expect. Okay, I think that's pretty cool. So now it's just about how we make that fit with... Whether we need to change colors or make stuff brighter or darker. Let's try a different photo and see what we're working with. Yeah, not really feeding that one. This one. This one could be cool. I just have to check if I used this on my Instagram previously. Hold on. Sometimes I do that. No, I haven't. Cool. There's like nothing that bugs me more than when I come up with a design and I'm really happy with how the text works and then I find out that I used the photo like two weeks ago. Okay, let me try this one because I, I really liked... Uh, it might be in my downloads actually. Let's see. Downloads today. Nope. Nope. This one. I think these two could work well together. how I like how these two work together all right the next step will be to just adjust colors lighting blah 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 I might just run a threshold filter on that mm, I think I'll do some coloring We'll work on some colouring in a sec. I'm just going to start adding some of my usual like noise and stuff like that just to see how it looks as it is. And then we'll go on what else needs adding. So go noise, add noise. do that and then I just wonder if I can adjust some of the colors on here hmm. so I think that photo just doesn't look as good as I thought we did just doesn't seem to work as well. See, I like this plain, but that's not how I do designs. I normally have some kind of photo in the background, so. Maybe something like that. We'll bring the exposure down a little bit. Or maybe the exposure is meant to be bright. Okay, then color. We're gonna just go to hue. And I'm going to create a clipping mask. That's pretty cool. I like that, how that text looks. I just make sure it's not, it's more red than it is pink. Nothing wrong with pink, just prefer it with slightly more red hints. All right, I like that color. So let's just try and find the right photo to go with that. I'm looking for blue skies. I feel like that, that works well. When we get back to our original photo. That's pretty cool actually. Okay. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do is bring this one forward like that, and then I'm going to remove the background. So convert to layers. Yes. And then remove background like that. Hopefully it should give us a nice clean cutout. It does. And then I'm going to come along here with the eraser. And I'm just going to bring this part back. It's just the head I want peeking out from just over the top of that never. The rest of it I want it to be over the top like that. Okay. So now we've got to find a way to separate this more from the background. Definitely not turning up that, that's not going to help. Okay, so I'm going to try like just adding, I'm going to make that one smart object and then maybe just try duplicating that and then filter, blur, gaussian blur, classic. Something like that maybe. And then. Trying some of these blend modes out. Maybe this one needs to sit on top. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that color burn actually. Yeah, I kind of like that. I, I'm a bit annoyed at how the for he is always there doesn't quite stick out, but okay, so we can't really change. Let's try putting that into a group and then try and bringing out the hue and saturation again and seeing what colors we can change it to. That's cool. I like that. All right, so going back to blue again. Okay, so I want to turn, it breaks it when I, the effect is not as good when I make that into a smart object, so. So now I think we just need to do some vibrance. That's gonna help here. So, like that, I might drop that below the blue and just make sure it's just that that's vibrant. Okay. Um, and then maybe just some slight adjustments to this image here. Nope. No, let me just go back to how that was. Cool, all right, then I'm just gonna add some like overlays, film dust here.
turn that to screen. It doesn't really make a difference that much, but I can notice it. I might just try duplicating this layer here and adding a bit more noise to the text. Drop that down by like to sixty percent. Cool. I think that's it. I think that's that's there. I'm pretty happy with the effects. I'm happy with the colors. There we have it. Let me know in the comments what you think about this design. I've tried out some new things here, so I would love to know what your feedback is. Some things that I could do better next time but I'm pretty happy with that. If you've enjoyed this video, then make sure you leave a like. It really does go a long way to helping this channel and consider subscribing for plenty more videos like this to come. As always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again soon.